We're here at the um, 2011 American Association of Suicidology Conference, and how'd it go? What's your research about? Uh, thanks for asking, Dr. Wazim. My, uh, my research uh, paper that I presented today was about uh, psychological autopsy interview methodology. <laughs> and uh, I collaborated with several researchers around the world, Yates Conwell, Annette Boutre, Barbara Schneider, Michael Phillips, and David Brent. And together we've um, uh, put together some materials to help guide future researchers do psychological autopsy research interviews. And uh, what that means is that's a, a methodology to uh, speak with uh, family members and friends about somebody who's died by suicide to systematically and reliably get good information about the stresses and difficulties that person was having prior to their death. So Dr. Connor, what are the implications of this work? It's very important work because the psychological autopsy is the only validated method to learn about what was going on with people in the days and weeks before they took their life. And there's really no other method that's suitable to, st to study that issue. And unless we know what people were going through prior to their death, we can't prevent, prevent that problem in others. And um, it's very difficult work. It's very difficult work to do reliably and validly. And so it's, uh, we want to provide guidance to the next generation of psychological autopsy researchers.